So I've given this driver a good test. I've taken it to the academy and hit it on GC quad. And I've just spent some time hitting it out here on the golf course, also on GC quad. I'll tell you what I found in a moment. First off, the brand, Tour Edge. Now, I'll be honest, over here in Europe, I've hardly heard of this brand at all. It's almost impossible to find it on sale. It's on sale really only in the US, and I suppose that's where the colour scheme comes from with the, with the head cover. And even on the shaft band here, you've got 100% assembled in the USA. It's very American themed. I'm going to talk about price, because I think it's important. $350, so it sits in that price bracket of a Cobra Speed Zone driver. Which again, I want to talk about that a little bit more in this video. What do I like about this driver? I do like the look. I think this driver is a good looking driver. I think what it's got in its favor, it's quite classic in some respects. So it's got the kind of the black head with a little bit of carbon on top, which is now quite classic. It's got a super nice shallow face and there's not too many things going on with it. There's not too many adjustable weights. You've just got the one adjustable weight at the back and then the loft sleeve goes up and down by two and a half degrees and you can change the lie angle. Now let me give you a little bit of more idea on tech because on the website, now let's go into quite detail of what's on this driver. This is a great tagline. This is from the president, founder and master club designer. Okay. Of the hundreds of drivers we've designed, the EXS 220 driver is a substantial leap forward in design innovation. So they're really putting a lot on this. They reckon they've changed the face with this diamond face, so it's going to produce more ball speed off off-centered hits. So it's got the carbon crown to bring that central gravity lower to give it more forgiveness. It all sounds great, right? I gave it a hit. I hit it on GC Quad first in the studio. And you know what? I liked hitting it. It gave a great noise. It felt like it was fast off the face. Numbers wise, it sat exactly where I'd want to see a driver sit. I was carrying this around 280 odd yards. I felt like the ball speed was good, almost 160 miles per hour. And the spin rate was around 2000, like pretty much bang on exactly what I want to see. Didn't blow me away. It wasn't the longest driver I've ever tested. So I brought it out on the golf course to give it a hit as well, because I also want to see what it's like off centered hits, because they reckon it's very, very forgiving this driver. Oh, that is ripped. Get close. what I found. Toe and heel strikes were decent. I didn't feel like I lost that much distance and I felt like the forgiveness was strong. That's a positive. On a negative, anything struck low on the face, I felt was unbelievably weak. I felt like I lost a lot of distance. The ball just ballooned up and spun like crazy, which in fairness, you do get with other drivers. I just felt like this driver in particular, I felt like I was getting very, very punished. Look and feel. I do like the look of it behind the ball. I think it's a great looking driver. It's just got a little bit of a triangular shape at the back, but it's non-offensive. And it sounds indoor and out here on the golf course, possibly even better out on the golf course. It sounds fantastic. It's not dead. It's like a, it's just a powerful sound. So, kind of so far, so good. Didn't blow me away in performance like crazy, but it was solid numbers. So it got me thinking a little bit. As I mentioned at the start of the video, this driver, which really only found on sale in the US, is $350, which sits so close to the Cobra price point. Certainly there's new Speed Zone driver, it's about $350. And I feel like with the Speed Zone, you get a little bit more, you get adjustable weights, you get the fact that players on tour are using it, like Bryson and Ricky and Lexi Thompson. Well, I feel like Tour Edge don't have that. I feel like I've got a lot of senior players playing it, but not a lot of mainstream names. 
she kind of comes onto the price. It's a bit of a, an odd, it sits in that middle ground. If this driver was $100 cheaper, I think you'd see a lot more golfers using it. I think if you went, I know it sounds ridiculous, if this driver was $800, I actually think people would have more interest in trying this driver. It just sits in a very, very strange price point. There's a lot of competition in there at the moment. And unless you stand out like a speed zone from Cobra recently, it's a very, very competitive market. Let me tell you, this is a decent driver. Better than the three would I tested when I tested that not long ago. I like a lot of it. I just don't think it's massively blown me away. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna finish it on one last shot. See if I can hit the green with this tour edge driver. Oh, that is right down the flag. That is a good hit.